Um, but it, you know, our existing democratic institutions are creaky, and we, we're going to have to reform them. So let's ask about the the creaky or not institutions in the United States. Yeah. The spectacle of a former president being uh, federally indicted. Mm -hmm. How is the rest of the world? the democratic world, maybe even the non-democratic world, meant to interpret that indictment and indeed the fact that a federal indictee is running, is able to run for the highest office in the land, maybe even the world? Uh, it's less than ideal, right? But uh, the fact that uh, we have a former president who uh, is having to answer uh, to charges brought by prosecutors does uphold the basic notion that nobody's above the law. Uh, and the allegations will now be sorted out uh, through a, a, a court process. I think I'm more concerned when it comes to the United States with the fact that not just one particular individual is you know, uh, being accused of, of uh, undermining existing laws, but that more broadly we've seen uh, whether it's through the gerrymandering of districts, whether it's uh, you know trying to silence critics uh, through uh, changes in legislative process, whether it's um, attempts to uh, intimidate the press, uh, a strand of anti-democratic sentiment that uh, you know we've seen in in the United States. It's something that is right now most prominent in the, in the Republican Party, but I don't think it's um, uh, something that uh, is unique to one party. I think th there is a, a less tolerance for ideas that don't um, suit us. And it, it, sort of the habits of, of a free and open exchange of ideas and the idea that um, yeah, we all agree to the rules of the game, and even if the outcomes aren't always the ones we like, we still abide by those rules. I think that's weakened uh, since I left office, and uh, we're going to need to strengthen them again.